Ray and Dana, the shooting is senseless. The victim's family tells me they don't even know the suspect who was charged. They describe him as a ghost, and it turns out he has a violent criminal history. He was just released from prison in September. It was heartless. Police Superintendent David Brown announcing the arrest of the man accused in the brutal quadruple shooting outside a Portage Park lounge early Sunday morning as family and friends gathered to celebrate a birthday. 32 year old Samuel Parsons Salas is now charged with three counts of first degree murder and one count of attempted first degree murder for the victims who were shot and faces another charge of kidnapping. He had driven away with another individual in the car uh, and that individual is the victim of the kidnapping. He held her against uh, her will. Victim's family tells WGN News they don't know the suspect. Someone else invited him to the birthday party. And police say when he was asked to leave, he went out to a car and pulled out a gun. Surveillance video reviewed by family shows the victims were shot at point blank range. Why he escalated to killing three people because he was asked to leave a birthday party is just uh, beyond the pale. Those killed have been identified as 26-year-old Mario Posuelos, 24-year-old Mercedes Tavares, and 50-year-old Ricky Vera. The celebration was for Vera's 25-year-old daughter. She was shot in the head and critically injured, now fighting for her life. Parson Salas was released from prison on parole in September. He was behind bars for a deadly 2009 home invasion in Albany Park in which two people were killed. And though he was charged with murder in that case, WGN Investigates has learned he accepted a plea deal and pleaded guilty only to the home invasion charges. While in jail, the suspect was also charged with battery to a sheriff's officer. Court records show he got out of his handcuffs and then used them to beat a jail guard, breaking that guard's nose. Now, three months after he was paroled, he's charged in the horrific shootings of four people. Whatever process goes forward, bond court, et cetera, et cetera, throw away the key. Get this person off our streets. And this suspect is due in bond court tomorrow. We're live at CPD headquarters, Jenna Barnes, WGN News.